What's going on guys? Instant Death Mouse here and today I'm going to show you how to load a stripper clip. And let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, first thing you want to get is some stripper clips. These mainly come on uh, ammunition that you buy in bulk. Uh, you can also pick them up at military surplus stores. Uh, gun shops will have them. They're about you know, like it's like a dollar for ten of them or something like that. Uh, these hold ten rounds of 5.56 five, or 2.23. And the first thing you want to do is you want to look at it. And you'll notice on the end, you got two little tabs sticking up. Now this gold piece inside basically acts like a spring to hold the uh, rounds in place, the back of the casing. Use this 9mm in the back of the case somewhere that has that ridge the, the, that the extractor grabs onto. And basically it just slides in there. Basically what you want to do is you want to take one of those tabs and fold it in. Let's go ahead and do that. That way it looks like that. It's 90 degrees. Just fold it in. Go ahead and open up your ammo. This is basically like if you don't you want to load it up on the stripper clips to load it in the magazines or if you want to uh, you know just keep it in a smaller area in different locations you know just sort of stuff like that so let's go ahead and get 10 rounds out There's 10 rounds. Let's go ahead and put them on these stripper clips. And basically, you want to take that tab that we folded down and leave it on the bottom. And take the rounds that you're loading, go from the top, kind of tilt in, and slide down. And you'll see it has these little grooves here that grab onto that casing. Basically, you just slide them in there. You just take it, push down, and slide. Need to hold 10 rounds. And when you got your 10 rounds on there, you take that top tab and you fold it down. Just like that. That way the rounds won't come out and there's 10 of them on there. Now, there's differences between a clip like this and a magazine. The clip just holds the ammunition, it doesn't feed it. It doesn't push it into place. It all has to be done manually. I'm going to go ahead and load up another one here. I'm going to go ahead and load the rest of these up off camera and then I'll get back to you when they're all loaded up. Alright, now that we got these all loaded up, and don't say anything about this one. I've got, I left a few stragglers off just to show you what's going on here. We're going to talk about why you would want to load up on stripper clips and how to load your rifle with stripper clips. So take your magazine. Remember, this is a clip. This is a magazine. A clip holds the rounds. A magazine contains the rounds and feeds them. It's got a follower and a spring inside to push them up. Why, why would you want to load them up on stripper clips? Well, there's 10 on each one and you can just slam them in there. The typical way is, you know, just out of the box. You take it and you just push them down into place. And sometimes you can't get them lined up and one will push out and you gotta smack it to line them back up right. So, but typically loading in that way is, uh, a little bit time consuming, especially if you have more than one magazine to load. It can take a while to get through a hundred rounds, you know, loading one by one by one. Typically if you buy in bulk, they will either come with stripper clips or already preloaded onto stripper clips. And more than likely if they come with or on stripper clips, they will come with what's called a spoon. And it basically, just look, you, you just use this to eat with, you just scoop it up. And Yum, yum, yum. But 
Now what you do is you take this and there's little grooves on the back of these magazines and you can see right here and these just slide down into place and this little tab here this first slot locks down onto that and then you just take one of these clips slot it down into place and let me back this out just so you, you guys can see so once you have them loaded on once you have your spoon on and your stripper clip full of ammunition on basically what you want to do is you just want to take it and take this stripper clip and put it on the edge of the table best to do it down let me zoom in here take it and put it on the base of that last round and then you just one swift motion down and then you just pull the clip out with the spoon and you can see that that tab has come up and there's your spoon with 10 rounds of ammo loaded well they had this uh, they had this they had this interesting tool at the uh, military surplus store that I picked up and it looks like this it's got this little plunger on it and it's got this little thing on it here and basically these are steel with this little spring inside and that little magnet is for when you push down and grabs the stripper clip and pulls it up for you so we're going to go ahead and test them. So, take this magazine, take this mag loader, it's got an arrow here pointing towards the front, so push it down on there, and you take your stripper clip and drop it down into place, and you grab this little T-handle and you push it down into here. It's got little grooves that it slides in. And you just put this. Huh. And it pulls out the stripper clip with it. Yeah. Especially for you guys who like to uh, load your magazines with stripper clips on the edge of your wife's coffee table or the dining room table and it scores it up with a nightstand like I did once <clears throat> and uh, instead of leaving dents and scratches all in your table you can just pick up this handy thing I think I paid like ten dollars for it but that's it for today guys that's how to load a stripper clip the difference between stripper clips and magazines and this uh, cool little stripper clip loading tool. Yeah. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or ideas, go ahead and post them down in the comment section and I will reply to each and every one of them. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, be sure if you like this to give it a thumbs up. That way I know that I'm putting out the best content that I can that you guys enjoy watching. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.